Joining us now for the Kenya market update discussion is Brenda Kitiji, who's a research analyst at Standard Investment Bank. Brenda, thank you so much for your time this morning. I hope your pronunciation of your surname was correct. Kithinji. Yes, it was correct. <laughs> there we go, learning a lesson this morning. It's starting off with the king and shilling. I understand that uh, it weakened rather significantly on Friday. And this is on the back of uh, not only the dollar, US dollar strengthening quite significantly, but also because uh, of increased purchases in the, with regard to the energy sector. Um, yeah, I mean, largely for most part of the month, we've seen the Kenya shilling strengthen quite a bit to 85 shillings. Uh, so the weakening was just um, a bit of a temporary um, movement. Um, go going further, I think it will strengthen. And again, of course, this depends on the Monetary Policy um, Commission's decision in terms of the central bank rate, uh, which they're supposed to take this week. So really depending on what they decide on the central bank rate, um, then we'll see um, the, the Kenya shilling react to that movement. Let's touch on that meeting that's due to take place this week. What are your expectations with regard to uh, what might come out of the central bank's meeting this week? I think our expectations are that the monetary policy will retain the central bank rate um, at the current 8.5% level. I mean, as much as we've seen inflation come down in October to around 7.7%, um, I think largely they think that there's still some risks within the economy and they would rather keep the interest rates at that level so as to also protect the Kenya shilling from really weakening. So I think they will retain um, that rate and uh, have a wait and see approach to see how the economy continue to, continues to react to the interest rate environment. Brenda, let's look at the construction uh, sector now within Kenya. I understand that that's recorded quite some activity uh, with uh, the likes of ARM, African Rainbow uh, Minerals, also reaching new all-time highs there. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the construction sector uh, continues to remain st strong, um, not just because of what's going on in Kenya, but really it's a regional play where as much as our Kenyan economy and our Kenyan government have slowed down the expenditure, other economies regionally have actually uh, um, increased the expenditure in terms of construction. And this is what is really driving our construction industry as well in terms of the cement companies being able to export much more um, to, the regional, to the regional peers. Let's look at the banking sector. That's also another solid performer, uh, at least contributing at least 40% of trades that took place last week. Are you expecting this momentum to be maintained this week? Yeah, I, th I think banking sector will continue to register um, high investor um, activity. They will see quite a bit of selling off and a bit of selling off, a bit of pressure, a bit of profit taking within the banking sector, especially as banking numbers come in. And we know that the banking sector has really struggled this year because of the interest rate environment. So earnings are not as, um, buoyant, as, not as buoyant as they were last year. And your expectations with regard to this week's market performance? We know that we're very quickly approaching the end of 2013. Could we see a lot more movements? I think the movement largely will be, in terms of price, will be around retail investors because as we go towards the holiday session, a lot of them will be looking for money for the festive season. So we could see them selling off, especially where they've made gains. And with the market up 40% year to date, I'm sure a lot of them have made some gains in one counter or another. And they will be looking to lock in those gains, sell off, and I guess use that money for their Christmas shopping. Just on the Christmas shopping brand, I'm sure you're also expecting retailers to have a good run as we approach uh, the festive season. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, retail, I mean, the retail um, sector is obviously going to benefit the most from um, the Christmas shopping season. But of course, the only um, downside or the damper to this is the increase in um, VAT, which has led to a lot of good, a lot of prices going up for a lot of the goods. So I guess people might shop a bit less because of that. Um, but largely we do expect the, um, a lot of activity around retail, especially during this time of the year.